geothermal energy the mystery about the shape and size of the earth is nothing compared to the mystery of what lies inside it one such mystery is known as geothermal energy which is the heat that lies within the earth this heat energy is obtained from hot rocks present inside the earth the word geothermal comes from the greek words geo or earth and therm or heat this renewable energy source constantly produces heat inside the earth thus making it inexhaustible to mankind almost 4000 miles beneath the earth's surface this phenomenon known as geothermal energy gets generated deep inside the earth's core the outer core is made up of very hot magma or melted rock surrounding a solid iron center which is the inner core slow decay of radioactive particles continuously produces very high temperatures inside the earth this process is natural in all rocks surrounding the outer core is the mantle about 1800 miles thick it is made of magma and rock the outermost layer of the earth is the crust it forms the continents and ocean floors running 3 to 5 miles thick under the oceans and 15 to 35 miles thick on the continents the earth's crust is broken into several pieces called plates magma comes close to the earth's surface near the edges of these plates these are the places where volcanoes occur the lava that erupts from volcanoes is partly magma deep underground the rocks and water absorb the heat from this magma the temperature of the underground rocks and water increases with increasing depth People around the world use this underground energy to heat their homes and to produce electricity by digging deep wells and pumping the hot underground water or steam to the surface. Since ancient times, geothermal energy has been used for heating as well as bathing. Even today, hot springs are used worldwide for bathing. Using geothermal energy to produce electricity is a relatively new industry which came into existence in 1904. The Italians first used the natural steam erupting from the earth to power a turbine generator. The first successful American geothermal plant began operating in 1960 at the Geysers in Northern California. Most of American geothermal power plants are in California with the remaining in Nevada, Hawaii, Idaho, Montana and Utah. Naturally occurring large areas of hydrothermal resources are called geothermal reservoirs. Most geothermal reservoirs are deep underground with no visible clues showing above the ground. Geologists use different methods to find geothermal reservoirs. The only way to be sure there's a reservoir is to drill a well and test the temperature deep underground. Geothermal energy sometimes finds its way to the surface in the form of volcanoes and fumaroles. Fumaroles are holes where volcanic gases are released. It also manifests itself in the form of hot springs and geysers. Active geothermal resources are usually found along major plate boundaries where earthquakes and volcanoes are concentrated. Most geothermal activities in the world occur along the borders of the Pacific Ocean called the Ring of Fire. 
when magma comes close to the earth's surface it heats ground water trapped in porous rocks or water running along fractured rock surfaces and faults the heat energy produced mainly using water or hydro and heat or thermal is called hydrothermal energy even though there is more than one type of geothermal energy this is the only one widely used some applications of geothermal energy use the earth's temperatures near the surface while others require drilling miles into the earth depending on the temperature of the hydrothermal resource the heat energy can be used for heating making electricity or as heat pumps ancient romans chinese and native american cultures used hot mineral springs for bathing cooking and heating even today many hot springs are still used for bathing for its natural healing powers hot water from springs or reservoirs near the surface is used for heating buildings Hot water near the earth's surface is piped directly into buildings and industries for heating purposes. Industries use geothermal energy for food dehydration, gold mining, milk pasteurization and growing crops. Hydrothermal resources at high temperatures, 300 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, can be used to make electricity. Either from dry steam wells or hot water wells, they can be used by drilling wells into the earth and piping the steam or hot water to the surface. Geothermal wells are 1 to 2 miles deep. Geothermal heat pumps use stable ground or water temperatures that hold nearly constant between 50 degrees and 60 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year near the Earth's surface to control building temperatures above the ground. They transfer heat from the ground or water into buildings in winter and reverse the process in the summer. Unlike solar, wind or tidal energy, geothermal energy can operate round the clock. This source of energy is free and renewable. Geothermal energy is virtually pollution free and does little damage to the environment. Geothermal plants produce virtually no emissions because they do not burn fuel to generate electricity. Its operating cost is also quite low. Another advantage is that geothermal plants don't have to transport fuel like most power plants. Geothermal plants sit on top of their fuel source. Geothermal power plants have been built in deserts, in the middle of crops and in mountain forests. Not all areas are suitable for production of electricity with the help of geothermal energy and it also depends on the structure of rocks. The generation of geothermal energy creates noise pollution and releases noxious smells. Even though its operating costs are low, cost of setting up a geothermal plant is very high. Also, it is expensive to drill holes so deep into the earth. In some places such as Iceland, hot water comes naturally to the surfaces as steam, which can drive turbines to generate electricity. Some power stations make use of lava that flows from the volcanoes. In India, there are about 400 hot springs that can be tapped for geothermal energy. Even though Ladakh, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh have good geothermal energy potential, no plants have yet been set up. 
Despite a few disadvantages, it is an undeniable fact that geothermal energy is an extremely valuable, simple and clean source of energy that can benefit mankind in a big way.